audio on demand from Vision Christian Media. Want to win in life's challenges? To know the will of God and have more passion for Him? Practical help right now with Tark Barna and Running With Fire. It's great to have you join with us again today and we're talking about becoming mighty men. God, waking up the mighty men and... Um, you know, I'm just being so challenged and stirred by this message myself, and I know my cameraman feels the same way. We're dialoguing in between sessions, and we're thinking, oh, my gosh, gosh, this God, God's trying to say something to all of us, and I start here with myself. So we're talking about what a man of God looks like, and we're talking about, you know, he does spiritual leadership as best he can within the home, invests in his home and marriage. And can I just say this, add to that, that um, – Let's give time to our kids and those that are closest to us. And we don't be an emotionally absent father or a husband and people can't connect with you. I know too many men, husbands, fathers, who are emotionally absent. And it's quite tragic because kids need emotional connection. Can I encourage you as a man to do a assessment of yourself, of your EQ, your emotional quotient, and so your ability to connect emotionally with other people. Some people have very high IQ, but a very low EQ. I want to suggest that EQ is more important. IQ, yeah, you're brilliant. That's great. You're a genius. <laughs> Good on you. But EQ is all about relationships. And what is our world? It's relationships. Bottom line. If we do well in relationships, we're going to do well in life. So giving you time to kids, connecting emotionally with your kid and learning how to do that. You know, hey, look, men, we can express ourselves. I've seen some of you at a rugby match, you know, rah, 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 you're jumping up and down, you know, even with a, the blues bucket hat on your head, you know, you, you're really emotional at, at a rugby game, you know, but then you go home and you kind of like shut down, go to church and you, you, you we shut down. I don't know where that where that comes from, but can I encourage us as men you know, let's just wisely share ourselves. <clears throat> let's be vulnerable. Share our struggles. You know, look, I get to travel around a lot of places. And you know the thing that people want to hear most from me? It's amazing. Tell me your struggles. Tell me your battles. Tell me where you miss, messed up. You know, please tell us more. I had one guy come talk to me just the other day as a pastor. And he said, look, look, I, I, I love all your stuff on this, that, and the other thing. But, hey, look, quite frankly, I would love you to just come and tell us your three biggest struggles battles that you've had and failures that you've made. Just tell us the real real story. People want that. It's that emotional connection. You know, what's, that, what's a real talk like? And as a father, as a man, what's the real you like? And if people can discover that, they're going to love it. And even if the real you's a bit pathetic, <laughs> but weak on it, it doesn't matter. It's people can, people can handle that because, hey, I often say to people, people say, I'm not okay. I said, look, I don't know. I've never met anyone who is okay, by the way. So we don't need to go there. So for men, tenderness is not always easy. We can be very harsh. We just got to really guard against that. So, you know, some teenage girls, they never get love from their dad, so they go looking in all the wrong places. There's a woman in our church said, owned up once. They said, look, I went looking elsewhere because I didn't get the encouragement and love that I needed from my husband. Hug your wife, please. Hug your daughter, please. Double, please. Just do it. You don't feel like doing it. You don't feel just do it. It's a decision. You don't have to feel like doing it. Just do it. Do it nicely. Do it kindly. And your son as well. Both of them. Just hug them. Physical connection is really, really important. You don't want to go and looking for that physical connection somewhere else. And as you do that, you know, listen to your children. Just give them time. You know, when you listen to your children, you're just saying, look, you are important to me. This is what a godly father, this is what a man of God, this is what a, a man of war, <laughs> this is a mighty man in God. What? <laughs> you know, we're dialing it right down, aren't we, to what is important, giving time to your children. Because when you listen to them, you're saying to them, you are important. And what you have to say matters. You are of value. My daughter now, she doesn't like me saying this, but she is 40. She is one of my best and closest friends. We go out, sh- coffee, tea, lunch. We go out shopping, which, by the way, breaks the bank. She knows how to spend my money. and um, But, hey, look, it's worth it. 
love your kids, you know, be close to them, do, do your best. And again, I just want to finish by saying, if you've not quite got it right, that's okay. Just go, go and ask God to help you just to do a little bit better tomorrow. You're not going to be the perfect father. You're not going to be the perfect husband. But hey, we can all do better. I know, I'm talking to myself, I can do a whole lot better. Tark Bana is the senior pastor of Church Unlimited in Auckland, New Zealand. For more information, to make contact or to listen again, look for Running With Fire at our website, vision.org.au. Thanks for taking time to listen to this audio on demand from Vision Christian Media. To find out more about us, go to vision.org.au.